Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, downloading, and subscribing to the latest edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I'm 12 Kyle. Check this out. On this podcast, we're going to talk about some of the best places to go in order to meet someone. Now, while it's not an exact science, there's something to be said for going somewhere to perhaps run into or maybe meet someone that you wouldn't mind dating. So I'm going to put you up on game on this one. So ladies and fellas, get your number two pencils ready. Sit back, relax. We'll drop the theme music and we'll get the podcast jumping. Let's get it. Welcome back. As I mentioned in the intro, we're talking about the best places to go to meet someone. Um, It's kind of funny how I came up uh, on this podcast. Uh, I was actually looking for something online and I stumbled across this article and the headline really jumped out at me. It was like, you know, talking about some of the best places to go to meet someone. Um, And so I started reading the article and as I read more and more into the article, I started making mental notes. And what I was asking myself is like, would I really want to go to these places to necessarily meet someone? I'll be the first to admit now is there's something to be said about, you know, finding a specific place and you going to that place, not necessarily looking for someone, but you know, to possibly run into or bump into somebody that you could, you know, strike up a conversation with. Um, it's called planning. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as the more and more I read, you know, there were a couple of places that was on the list that they had that I probably wouldn't go to meet somebody in. And then there were some, you know, some places that I was like, OK, that might be kind of cool. And so what I decided to do was share with you some of the places that they had on their list. And I also made my own personal list of places that I would go to meet someone or places that I would actually recommend uh, people to go to meet someone. Um, Now, I'm not going anywhere to meet anybody because I'm married. So (laughs) so I I have no desire to go meet anybody anywhere. Um, But. I do have, you know, male friends and female friends uh, who are single and, you know, are still dating and that type of thing. So, you know, it's always cool to, you know, introduce people to different things and kind of help people think outside of their box. I think a lot of times, you know, when you're in that mode, you, you like what you like, and you know what you know, and, and you go wherever you feel comfortable. And, and obviously you want to go places where you want to be comfortable. But at the same time. You want to make sure that, you know, you put yourself in the best position to possibly meet someone. Um, I always tell people, I think it's cool to go places that you like and and like minds usually go to the same type of places. Um, And I will be the first to admit, like, I would not (laughs) recommend that you go somewhere trying to meet a husband or trying to meet a wife, if you will. Um. It's far more important that you find somebody that you can kick it with and be cool with. And then if it develops from there, then, you know, you're good. (laughs) You know, but nobody, you know, you're not meeting the finished product. You're not meeting a wife or a husband um, or potential wife or potential husband at any of these places. Although that could turn into something down the road. You just never know. So, um Nonetheless, I wanted to, uh, you know, put you all up on game um, and, you know, just uh, (laughs) give you my take on some of these places that I came up with. Um, So first, I'll give you one from their list and I'll give you one from my list and we'll just do it like that. Um, First on their list, vacation destinations. Um. I think that's okay. And and they were talking about, you know, like when, you know, you have a girl's trip or you have a guy's trip and you go to, you know, some island or you go to Vegas or wherever, wherever the place may be. Um, 
you know, vacation destinations, you know, aren't always people aren't always coupled up or with families. Uh, that was the explanation for recommending vacation destinations. Um, personally, like when I <laughs> and I guess because I'm a married father, uh, when I think vacation, I'm thinking like me, the wife and the kids going somewhere. So that, like when I hear vacation, that's the first thing that I think. So um like last year we went to disney world so i mean like so when i saw this i'm like vacations i'm like disney world (laughs) but i mean that's that's me that's my world that's that's where i kick it at you know what i'm saying so i i am family guy so um vacation destinations and even when i think about vacation like going on a vacation with the crew which is something that we have done and we're going to do more of um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it on this podcast, but a vacation with the crew is coming. Um, nonetheless, I just can't really see me going somewhere. Uh, not to say that it's not possible because it's very possible, depending on where you go, where you can be in a group of people and, you know, you meet uh, members of the opposite sex or the same sex. That's how you get now. Um, but vacation destination is just for me on just personally. Uh I, I don't think I could rock out like that, but hey, that's on their list. Um, on my list, one of the best places to meet someone, house party. <laughs> I'm old school, man. A house party, a house set, card party, blue light in the basement party. I know that's flying over some of you heads, you know, because you, you're young Thundercats, but um, I think a house party or a social social gathering, if you will, or you know, it's when summertime comes around, a cookout or a barbecue, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think those are always dope because, for one, people are in a relaxed environment, right? You're in a relaxed environment. You got your guard down. You know, you don't really think about somebody necessarily stepping to you at a at a barbecue or a house party. Um, and I think, you know, that's a good place where, again, people's guards are down. Not really, or at least it shouldn't be a lot of front. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's totally different from like going to the club. So I would definitely recommend a house party. You know, sometimes we used to call them card parties because people would invite couples or, or just single people over. Uh, we used to do that before back in the day. Um, invite a bunch of our friends over, you know, just set up some tables and just play cards, you know, spades. I mean, get a good spades. Um, or if you're into, you know, uh, poker or I don't know, <laughs> what's <laughs> whatever those other card got I me. Mean, all I play is space. I don't know any, any other games, hearts, whatever like that. Um, nonetheless, or dominoes, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I think those are good because, you know, obviously example, right? If I invite you to my crib for a house set. I'm cool. So, you know, I'm not going to have any foolish, <laughs> any fools at my crib. So the ladies who come, they they will know that any guys that I invite, I'm going to invite single guys. So the single guys are going to be about something and they're going to be dope because I'm dope. So um, nonetheless, you know, so you, it, it's I think it's a good place to, you know, really meet someone cool. So a house party is on my list. And these are in no particular order. Um the second thing they have on their list is the movies. Hmm. Um, I can understand and appreciate how you would have that uh, because, you know, for some people, the movies, uh, particularly single people, um, they tend to go to the movies alone. Uh, you know, everybody doesn't necessarily go on a date to the movies. Um, but I will say this much. uh just generally speaking, when you, at least for me, when I think about movies, I always think about going to the movies on a date because that's what I've always done. <laughs> like, uh, now I have gone to the movies by myself, which I think is incredibly dope. Um, but I will say the six or seven times that I've gone to the movies by myself, uh, you know, women are automatically checking to see if you're married. I, I know that personally the first thing they do is look at your left hand um and and i've had that happen to me several times so 
you know, if you go to the movies, if just guys, I just a, a PSA for the fellas. If you go to the movies and, you know, you by yourself, they're going to assume that you're not married uh, or they will be checking to see if you're married. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, I can understand how the movies would end up on their list. Uh, I wouldn't put it on my list, but hey, <laughs> um, on my list, the next one I have is the bookstore. Uh, whatever bookstore that you like, whether it be Barnes and Nobles or whatever like that, uh, any other big time bookstore, um, I think that's a great place to meet someone. Um, again, the bookstore is a very relaxed atmosphere. People go to the bookstore to read. They go to, you know, it's, it's a, 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 a stress reliever, if you will. It's a, it's an outlet. It's a really, really cool place. Um, and for the most part, cool people hang out in bookstores. <laughs> it's like, uh, I haven't really, and unless I've been in the wrong bookstores, I really hadn't seen a lot of lames hanging out in bookstores. Hadn't seen a lot of nerds hanging out in bookstores. Hadn't seen a lot of thugs hanging out in bookstores. <laughs> so, um, I think that's a really, ladies, I think that's a cool place to meet a guy. Fellas, I think that's a cool place to meet a lady um, at a bookstore. Again, very relaxed environment. Uh, who would not want to be menti- mentally stimulated uh, by a book? And what could be better than seeing someone that you like or someone that you're attracted to reading a book? Perfect place to start to strike up a conversation um, ask them about what they're purchasing, what they're reading, if they would recommend something. I mean, come on, man. I mean, <laughs> this game 101. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, the next thing they have on their list actually uh, was an honorable mention on my list. The grocery store. Uh, I think uh, the grocery store, I will agree with that. The grocery store is mad, mad cool place to meet someone. Uh, the reason being is that, you know, again, it's a relaxed atmosphere. Most people are in the, I mean, you're in the grocery store for a particular reason. Like (laughs) nobody, (laughs) nobody goes to the grocery store to window shop. Now you could go to the mall and walk around and don't buy a damn thing. But if you're in the grocery store, you're coming to buy something. So, you know, I think I think the grocery store is uh, is a really cool place. Again, it's a relaxed atmosphere. Um, you know, the one thing about the grocery store is that, you know, you can <laughs> make certain assumptions about, you know, what people are purchasing. Um, you know, if you see something in their cart, then you can make certain assumptions about, I don't know, maybe their lifestyle. Um, if you see a lot, of <laughs> if you see a lot of green vegetables, maybe they're vegan. If you see uh, you know, I don't know, diapers in their, in their, uh, thing, then, you know, obviously they're a parent. Um, so, you know, it, it's things that you can kind of pick up on based on what you see, but I mean, it's a good place to strike up a conversation. And, you know, if you're lost or you, you're like me and don't know where anything is in the grocery store, uh, you know, it's a great thing to ask a woman, you know, fellas, you know, Hey, where, where can I find the asparagus? I mean, I mean, come on now. We, <laughs> We know we know where the asparagus are, but I mean, that's a great I don't want to say that's a pickup line, but that is a great question to ask. So um, I think one of the reasons why grocery store was an honorable mention and not directly on my list is because of the crazy chick. <sighs> yeah, you you if you've been following the podcast, you know about my issues with the crazy chick. I ran into her at the grocery store Um and subsequently, you know, every time I go in the grocery store, I'm this particular grocery store down the street from my house. I'm always I always have my head on a swivel trying to make sure that I don't run into her again. Um, but I detailed that in, <laughs> in the other podcast entitled Crazy Chicks. So if you didn't catch that story, um, check that one out after you finish this podcast. Um, let's see. What do I have here? I have uh, my third one is um, a place where. You do volunteer activities. I think that's a super, super dope place to meet someone cool because um, let's say you're doing something for, I don't know, let's say feed the homeless. Uh, 
people tend to feel warm about, you know, their charitable efforts as well as well they should. Uh, but I think one of the key things about that is that, you know, that's an easy icebreaker um, place to, you know, kind of strike up a conversation and talk as far as, you know, what it is that you're doing there and what you're trying to do and, and how you're willing to help people. Um, I think generally speaking that that is a, a motivator and a turn on, or, or at least it will pique the interest of someone uh, opposite you if they see that you're, you know, you're there and they're there and you both care about something other than yourself. Um, so I think, yeah, if you do a lot of volunteer stuff or volunteer activities, uh, I think that's a great place to meet, um, you know, someone else and someone who may have a like minded interest just like you. Um, let's see what else they got here. Number four, they've got restaurant. Uh, restaurants are cool. A uh, restaurant is a cool place. Again, a lot of people will associate being in a restaurant with, uh, you know, being on a date <laughs> or, you know, not necessarily going solo, but a lot of people go to restaurants, you know, by themselves. Um, I think if you can find someone in your favorite restaurant, uh, eating alone, um, you know, now pump your brakes. <laughs> You can't just walk up and say, hey, you mind if I sit down? No, nah, it don't work like that, player. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, I think it's a good place for people to meet. And again, you know, relaxed atmosphere. Um, very relaxed. Uh, the better the restaurant, the cooler the restaurant, the more relaxed the, the restaurant is. Um, if you're at Hooters, uh, it's not as relaxed as you might think it would be. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they have restaurant on their list um number four on my list and again mine on in any particular order uh sporting events <sighs> ladies <laughs> ladies 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 if you are trying to meet a man um one of the most obvious places to meet a man is a sporting event. If you have professional teams in the cities or the towns in which you live or college teams, um, that's a super, super dope place to meet a man. Uh, fellas, not as much because, and it's not to say the women don't go to sporting events because they do. Uh, just not in the same droves as men do. And I think, I think I'm, I don't think I'm going out on a limb by saying that. <laughs> um, so like, and I'll give you an example, right? Um, I live in the city of Atlanta. So we have professional teams here. We have professional football team, baseball team, basketball team, right? So bas excuse me, football is probably the biggest sport, you know, uh, the Falcons are the team in the city, right? So when you go to Falcons games, it is not uncommon to see women, you know, not necessarily dressed in, you know, and, and their faces painted in the Falcons team colors of red and black uh, with <laughs> with Falcons gear on. Uh, you know, it's, it's very common to see women in you know, six inch stilettos with jeans and, you know, very tight fitting jeans and, you know, looking real flavorful. Um, and that's cool. And I think, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because, um, you know, the guys can't look at the game all day. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, ladies, I think that is a perfect place to meet someone. Uh, it would help if you know a little bit about the sport. Um, <laughs> or at least, you know, the, about the team, uh, that you're going there to root for. But, um, yeah, and I've seen an, an uptick in that, in, in this city and not just, uh, not just in football, but just all of the sports, um, you know, women have become hip and I, it, now Atlanta's a different kind of place, but that's, that's another, <laughs> that's another story for a different podcast. Um, but I will say this much, I think sporting events, at least for the ladies, I think that's a great place to meet men. Um, and if for nothing else, I think you probably, if you're into that particular sport uh, or that event, uh, you know, you have that commonality right there and that's a great starting point to start a conversation and proceed from there. 
Um, and let's see, they've got a couple more in here. Um, place of worship and a health club slash slash a uh, gym. Um, places of worship. Uh, I, I think that's cool. Uh, that would be your churches, your synagogues, your mosque, <laughs> wherever you kick it at, wherever you, you know, go, go pray to. Um, I think that's cool. I think, uh, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. I think there's a lot of, um, you know, available members of the opposite sex, uh, in the church. Uh, it just really, you have to be really tricky about that because, um, you know, I don't want to make it sound like, yo, you like to the fellas, I don't want to make it sound like, yo, you should go to church because it's a lot of single ladies at church, which, in most towns there are <laughs> in most cities there are um but you know you don't want that to distract you from obviously the main reason for going to the place of worship whether it be church synagogue wherever um so that one's tricky i do think that there is you know something to be said you know especially if you have like minds or you know you have similar thoughts as far as your ideology and, and what you believe in um, I think that's a, a, that's a great step in the right direction, uh, particularly for compatibility. Uh, I mean, like, you know, I don't know too many people who, you know, he's an atheist and she's, you know, Southern Baptist, <laughs> not to say it couldn't work, but, uh, you know, could be kind of problematic. Um, uh, health and gym, um, those are cool. Uh, health clubs and gyms are cool. Uh, I, Here's my frustration with the gym. Um, <laughs> and I know I'm going to piss some people off with this, but I don't care. Um, ladies, when you're in the gym, take your makeup off. <laughs> now, I, I know what you're saying. You're, you're, you're talking to me right now, looking at your podcast, wherever you're listening at, and you're talking to me saying, well, I, what's wrong with wearing makeup? I just don't think makeup and sweat and sweaty hair look good um together uh now if you came from work and went straight to the gym okay cool no problem i i dig it i, I understand I, I got you but i see a lot of women in the gym and like they're like made up and i'm like you most people go to the gym to enact some type of physical activity so, so, uh, you know, when you enact physical activity, you tend to sweat, right? And when you sweat, you know, you tend to be sweaty, which is cool because everybody in the spot is sweaty. Um, that being said, it just doesn't look good with makeup. So I remember this was about maybe about a month ago. I was in the gym and i um, working out or whatever like that. And this woman, she's on the treadmill next to me and she's running, running, running. And she gets off the treadmill and you know how like some women <laughs> some women some women will you know take that little i guess eye, uh, eyebrow highlighter and you know kind of accentuate their eyebrows if you will um and it's not to say that she didn't have eyebrows because she did but uh when she started sweating the i guess the little highlight she added to the eyebrow was like you know coming down the side of her face <laughs> Man, I started to go in the car and just grab her a crayon <laughs> and just hand it to her. Like, yo, you might want to finish this till you can get home. Um, nonetheless, man, it, like I said, those those places are cool. They didn't make make my list, but I think those are, you know, pretty decent places to meet someone. You know, because obviously if you're if you meet someone in the gym or, or, or health club, um, you know, there's one commonality that you belong that you both believe in, you know, uh, uh, fitness, um, which is, you know, health. And that's important. It should be important to everybody. Um, last but not least, um, again, mine weren't, this is my list. Uh, again, mine weren't in any particular order, but, um, I have to say unequivocally, this is in my opinion, one of the best places to meet someone especially for the ladies. I think this place is so, so slept on and incredibly dope. And yet 
I think women are really, really missing the boat when it comes to going to this particular place. And I don't see why, because this place is everywhere. And I'll be honest, when men see women here, they get so excited. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And I just don't know why you don't see as many women there as you probably should. The place I'm talking about, golf course. <laughs> Ladies, a uh, perfect place to meet a man, the golf course. You don't even have to know how to, you don't have to like golf. <laughs> If you just show up and you got some clubs and you kind of semi look like you know what you're doing, you're in. Um, and again, I play golf. So, well, you know, let me take that back. I try to play golf because <laughs> I'm not that good. But I will say I'm very dope when I'm out there. I look like from afar, you you would look at me and say, oh, man, that dude, he looks like he knows what he's doing, which I don't. I mean, actually, I do. But I'm just not a good player. But I do look good out there. So that counts for something. <laughs> but this ain't about me. Um, nonetheless, golf, ladies, show up to your local wh wherever. Go to the golf course. You don't even have to play a round of golf. Just go to the driving range. Just go to the putting greens. I guarantee you at some point... You will be approached by a man who will ask you some questions about, you know, your swing or something. And to be honest, you know, again, I've seen men, you know, almost I've seen some men salivate. And I don't mean that in a in a in a nasty way, but like just in the in the most admirable way, salivate at seeing a woman out there playing, you know, quote unquote, his sport, if you will. Um but I think it's really, really dope, man. I think women, uh, at least from what I've seen with my own two eyes, uh, women get a lot of attention uh, when they're at the driving range or they're on a golf course. And again, you don't necessarily <laughs> you don't necessarily have to know how to play. Just show up, and again, you'll meet someone. Uh, the cool thing about golf is that you know, and ladies, you can make your own assumptions about the men who are playing. Uh, there's certain, you know, financial, you know, economic, uh, educational uh, assumptions that you can make. Um, basically, <laughs> you ain't going to see nobody out there broke playing because it's not a it's you don't have to be rich to play. But obviously, you know, it, golf can be expensive. Um, and, and I'm not rich by any stretch of imagination. I, I ball on a budget. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> um but yeah, uh, I think that's a great place, ladies. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting you up on game. Uh, the weather's about to break. This is a great time to hit your local golf course. Um, like I said, you don't even have to know what you're doing. Just show up, ladies, and you can be. And fellas, I, when they come out there, take advantage. <laughs> that's all I can say is take advantage. So I had to, I had to give the, I had to leave the ladies with that nugget, you know, sorry fellas, but I had to leave the ladies with that one. So, um, there you have it. Some of the best places to meet someone as always. Thanks for listening to the latest edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I'm your boy, 12 Kyle. We'll catch you guys next time. 5,000.